Welcome to your course. I want to take just a quick moment to take you on a tour of the video player and all of its features so that you get the most out of this entire course and all the courses you take with us. So you'll start at your course page, of course, and you can see that it grays out and collapses the work that you've already done. So let's go to the next video here. It opens up this separate player and you can see it as standard video player stuff. You can pause or play. You can actually skip back a few seconds or skip forward a few more. You can jump to the next or previous lecture, things like that. It shows you which chapter and which lecture topic you're learning right now. And has other cool stuff like take me to the course page, show me the full transcript dialogue for this lecture, take me to the GitHub repo where the source code for this course lives, and even do full text search. And when we have transcripts, that's searching every spoken word in the entire video, not just titles and descriptions and things like that. We also have some social media stuff up there as well. For those of you who have a hard time hearing or don't speak English as your first language, we have subtitles from the transcripts. So if you turn on subtitles right here, you'll be able to follow along as the words are spoken on the screen. I know that can be a big help to some of you. Just because this is a web app doesn't mean you can't use your keyboard. You want to pause and play? Use your space bar to toggle that. You want to skip ahead or backwards? Left arrow, right arrow. Next lecture, shift left, shift right. Want to toggle subtitles? Just hit S. And if you're wondering what all the hotkeys are, you can click this little thing right here. It'll bring up a dialogue with all the hotkey options. Finally, you may be watching this on a tablet or even a phone, hopefully a big phone, but you might be watching this on some sort of touch screen device. If that's true, you're probably holding it with your thumb. So you can click right here to seek back 10 seconds, right there to seek ahead 30, and of course, click in the middle to toggle play or pause. Now on iOS, because the way iOS works, they don't let you auto start playing videos. So you may have to click right in the middle here to start each lecture on iOS. That's a player. Now go enjoy that course.